This looks like an awesome question, five marks. So what we wanna do whenever you have a square root like this with these square root equations, um, step one, get the square root alone or get the square root term alone. What that means is that this is one term. So that three, that three can be friends with the square root and they can move together for now, okay? Maybe later we'll tell the three, okay, dude, you're being a bit clingy, but for now, they can stay together. So step one is just take that x over, this x over here. Okay, so you could, if you wanted to, uh, divide by three, but I don't like to do it. What I do is I square at this moment over here. And I know in some of my previous videos I have divided, um, but you know, I, I think this is actually works out better. So you just square um, this part and you square this part. So it becomes nine and then this two evaporates, mm, I like that, evaporates, the square root. And so that becomes x minus one. And then on this side, please don't just put the two in there and put the two in there. But Kevin, that's what you did exactly what you did over here. Yes, I know that, but that's because here we have one term. There's no plus or minus in between. As soon as there's a plus or minus in between the two terms, then you have to do a double bracket, okay? Some learners, they know how to do this part without using a double bracket, that is okay if you know how to do that. But I know when I was in grade 11 and 12, I wasn't comfortable with that, so I just used to use double bracket. Kevin, you're such a rookie, bro. I've been doing the anti-double bracket method since I was like in grade nine, bro. Okay, well, that's great, I'm happy. Um, but let's just carry on now. So nine x minus nine is equal to, um, okay, now I'm gonna multiply this out, so it becomes one and then minus x, minus x, and then plus x squared. So that becomes minus two x eventually. You might wanna just make sure that you agree with me on that. Okay, now here we're just gonna solve an equation. So I'm gonna take everything to the right. The reason is, is that I just like it when this is positive, but you could have taken everything to the left. It really doesn't matter. So we're gonna end up with that. Um, I'm gonna bring that nine X over where it'll be, then become a negative and then plus one plus nine. And so now we end up with X squared take away 11 X plus 10 because that's nine plus one. Um, and that's negative two not minus nine. And now we just factorize, or if you wanted to, you could use the quadratic formula, but this one will factorize pretty easily as that. So now we can just say that X take away 10 is zero. You see how I put the zero on the right now, whereas here it was on the left? That really doesn't matter. But if you wanted to keep it all technical, you could also do that. Um, it doesn't matter. It, the way you do it in the test, they don't care. So for that part, so X is 10. Um, or you could say x take away one is zero, and so x is one. Now, up till this point, you will get four out of five. So Kevin, how do you get five out of five? Well, to get five out of five, you need to remember, whenever we have a square root in these equations, you need to do a little check at the end, okay? Um, so how does that work? Well, you take each number, so let's take the 10, and you go plug it into all the places where you see x, okay? So, That'll become um, 10 plus three square roots of 10 take away one. Um, and then on the other side, we just have a one. So that's the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, you just have a one. And we wanna see if the two sides are equal. So if you had to go work out this side, you're gonna end up with 10 plus, um, you're gonna end up with 19 eventually. And then on the right-hand side, you have a one. So is 19 equal to one? Nope, so that's a no solution. So this one uh, is not actually part of our answers. Now we go do exactly the same with our other answer, which is x equals to one. We go plug it into, um, we go plug it into all the places where you see x. So let's do it up here. Okay, and then that's the LHS or the left hand side, and the RHS, which is the right hand side. Um, this will be pretty random. I just said LHS. I actually used to go to a school in Ladysmith called LHS. So if you go to, if you, I didn't go there my whole life, but I was there in um, grade eight, Ladysmith High School. <laughs> um, it's an old school, man. My parents went there. My grandparents went there. Well, yeah, some of them. So yeah, in Ladysmith, just outside, like I think like two hours outside of Durban. Yep. I was there in grade eight. And then we moved to the Western Cape. Okay, so um, if you work out the left-hand side, um, then you end up with um, 
one if you had to go work that out and then on the right hand side you also end up with one and so these two sides are equal and so x equals to one is a valid answer.